This little farm mosque is, it's noticeable on the map, especially to the boaters. They wonder, how did people could stay here in such a small community with a few people? Well, love, love is the key. And this is all about the Farmers Key Festival, first Friday in February. The 5F Farmers Festival, first Friday, February. The uh, community has uh, today residents, uh, about 55 men, women and children. That is the population of Farmers Key. Well, Farmers Key was settled uh, uh, by a woman called Krish Anna, our ancestor who we all emanated from. Krish Anna was a freed slave woman that moved to Little Farmer's Key with her three children. My precious Alan Farmer's Key, this is home to me, and it will always be. Uh, but the island has always been uh, open uh, for a long time for tourists. It's based on a sailboater's business, and we still are a boater's business, and we're real proud of it. Farmers Key Regatta is a Class C regatta, uh, one of the most popular uh, class in sailing in the Bahamas. The boats are all, say, homemade boats, which then we use like the um, wild tambourine, sometimes we use Madeira pad, and then we plank with sometimes spoofs. But uh, they're all about 17 feet. Well, you know, I pull up the race and pull off and go, and the race start, gun fired, the race started. And then we get out there, you know, if it's windy, you got to get on that pry. If you don't get on the pry, the boat will turn it over. It's really good when you ride the pry and everything like that. It's a good experience, you know. So he said, get on the pry. All man go on the pry. And then well, we sail them full, sail them full, sail them full. Wood breaking, no good. We just sail them full. Wood breaking, no good. So basically, we sail them full. You gotta be active now. You get one time and you're talking, you get on that ride. Because if you don't get on that ride, you turn over and you lose your race. The sailboats, they came from various islands. The person who wins, well, that's the one who does the bragging. So, like I'm saying, the, the, the boat has come from here, there, and everywhere. So just enjoy this. Now we talking around the buoy. There's sometimes you have a mistake. Uh, you didn't trim the, uh, the jib on time, and the buoy mistake. You mistake the boat is staring in the wind, licking up. You know, buddy, somebody made a mistake sometime. And my God, you know. Sometimes with, with sailing, we have accidents, you know, incidents. Uh, sometimes you may sink or you may, may mistake, meaning your boat stop and you can't get it to go. You crash, which in, you know, it may be penalized to crash in according to, according to who's on starboard or who have the starboard. Hold that jib! I teach you. <laughs> no. That boy, you know, everybody's scared. Them days I grew up in old school. So you know where them people talk here, you guys, listen. You, you trim your jib down, but one thing with a mistake, when that jib start licking, licking, licking like that, that rope started to give you the worst beating you ever get in your life with a whip. Because the, the wind keeps sinking it and the, the rope keeps licking you, licking you, licking you. My God, that could be serious. So you got to be careful when your boat, boat mistake. You didn't get it tacked around properly and it's gone up to the wind and you trim your jib on time. 